this guy I dated, I dated for a pretty long time, actually. Um, he'd invite me over and every single time was the same. We'd watch TV and then he would disappear for four hours to play guitar. <laughs> and that was my evening for several months. Uh, just like, first of all, you invited me over. And second of all, I'm living the same date over and over over and over again for months it's like I'm in 50 first dates I'm in an Adam Sandler movie I'm in an Adam Sandler oh my god I'm 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 Adam Sandler (laughs) Sandler. (laughs) but I guess I fucking deserve to be Adam Sandler because any guy who drops four hundred dollars on a guitar and then has you pay for his meals is clearly only with you because he hasn't figured out how to fuck his guitar yet. (laughs) (laughs) So after that, utterly failed. Surprise. Um, My next zebra was even sicklier, as rebounds often are. Uh, But Jesus Christ, do I have some good stories. Um, I went on a date. Uh, I say like date because we were just supposed to be casually hanging out as friends. Uh, We went to this park, you know, we drove around, uh, he found a parking spot. We were having a pleasant conversation and then he just stops and I'm like, Hey, and he's like, I parked the car. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I, yep. He's like, I parked the car. Yeah, okay. Like, do you want a medal? Like, I don't, good job. You know how to drive? And he's like, I parked the car. And that means that now you kiss me. (laughs) (laughs) The mental gymnastics you have to go through to make that make sense is just impressive so i went out with him again the next week (laughs) (laughs) oh no and on that date uh he out of the blue just goes i'm a virgin are you (laughs) and i'm like no and his eyes like light up and he has the gall to be like Oh, so you can teach me. (laughs) (laughs) I think think there's a really beautiful irony to looking for, not even looking for, but like expecting sexual experiences from an asexual. Once again, the, the mental gymnastics this guy could pull off were just like Olympics level. Um, so this guy clearly had it in his head that I not only wanted to but was planning on having sex with him which didn't happen for obvious reasons but anyway uh (laughs) this one time we're hanging out in his room and he gets like all serious all of a sudden and he like (laughs) sat me down he was like I've got to tell you something and I'm like oh shit what now and he's like seeing how I see our relationship going in that direction I've just there's something you've got to know about me and I'm so I'm so invested I'm like what what is it and he looks me in the eyes and he goes so when I was born I had some medical problems (laughs) and now I have one ball, (laughs) like one testicle, and you can't tell anyone what it looks like. (laughs) (laughs) And I mean, that just... That just stirs my imagination horribly because if I'm not allowed to tell anyone what it looks like, what the fuck kind of monstrous what 
what's going on down there? Like, what, what am I not, I can't tell anyone. So it must be like crazy. So I did a lot of thinking and I settled on what it was, is like, like a tether ball, right? So it's like, like this, this right? <laughs> and um, I'm Jill. That's all I've got. Uh, you guys have been great. Thanks for having me. Woo! Woo!